Alright guys, uh, we are back with the Atlantic City uh, Circuit Series, and uh, we have Sean McCabe versus Matt Cairoli. 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 So it looks like it's uh, Satellers versus Cosmos, and it looks like it is Cosmos because uh, I'm pretty sure I see an Artifact Sanctum in his hand, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, Artifact Cosmos. So starting off, Cosmofax. Yeah, Cosmofax. Three. <laughs> Hits the middle. So we're chaining Book of Moon. Uh, that's not a good rarity, Book of Moon, though, so. Nope. So it doesn't actually count, I don't think. Yep. Activate Cosmic Town. But it does look like, yep, setting the three and passing. <laughs> Man, I wish I could have, like, I was testing this deck for a little bit, and I could not get <laughs> hands like that. I actually would just draw. Like Cosmo? three Cosmo Town. <laughs> That's when you gotta play Reload. <laughs> yeah. Put it back in. So it looks like Torrential's gonna. Yeah, probably even negate it here, obviously. That would have been a pretty nice swing for. Uh, oh, yeah, that would have been a though. gigantic Torrential. <laughs> yeah, hit three and then also uh, bring out a Farm Girl. That'd be yep. not too bad. Not, not, not too shabby for sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're joined by Matthew Monahan, winner of ARG Edison. What's up, guys? How'd you do today? Uh, well, I'm still in the tournament. Still like, still in, good. Yeah, I good. I got wrecked on the stream, uh, round one by Patrick, and then I won round two, and then round three I just uh, sat with my friend Michael Kokovides, and we just decided to intentionally draw under the logic that like I'd be in the draw bracket, so I'd play against slower decks and slower people yep. that are probably trap decks, which are ideal matchups for me. So, I just and plus I want to see my friend do well, so I just decided to ID with yep. him. You and your traps. Mm-hmm. Or anti traps. Yeah. Like also, I'd like to <laughs> kind of steer clear of Infernoid because I didn't know how much of a problem Ooh, yeah. uh, that Omega card is. <laughs> Infernoid's like, crazy. I've never played against that card till today. I thought it just like wasn't a huge deal. Apparently, it is. <laughs> All right. So this is game one. Yep. All right. Prism comes out on. Is yeah, that on the moral attack, attack? Obviously, yep. or else he would just be able to chain. And exactly. Maybe. Does Compulse look at activation? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting. Depending on what this less card is. Probably would have gone for the farm girl. Well, oh, did he know that he had the? Did he add the s starship earlier? Yeah, he added it back to his. So hand yeah, so he should have known. Uh, after this attack. Yeah. Oh, I know who Matt Guy really is. He's a Zod's friend. Yep. He's at Syracuse. Yeah. That's where I'm trying to him. remember who these. <laughs> yeah. And opening all sanctums, no more box. Yep, it's pretty good. The dream. Torrential that he got. No, oh, I can't see it. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, sanctum, so we went like summon uh, Altergus and Neb Search, and then he sanctum to cut off from like a possible excite on. And he's got Jarragetta. And now yeah. he's just going to Well, so game one goes to <laughs> all right then. <laughs> I'll be able to at least have the full context of the game for this next game. Cosmo showing their dominance there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, when you open the way that he did, that was that was pretty awesome. How many views do we have? 283. Mm. Big number. It's like twice that amount of people in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can Cosmo side against the Tellers? Do they also side Decree? I don't think so. Okay. Well, they're a trap deck. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. We can't side Decree. Can't play Light Mirror. Um, I don't know if they need much to side. It seems like already yeah, a pretty ideal nah. matchup for them. They can just sit on four and like, what can they, they even do? Yeah, it was a pretty dominant game. I mean, like, yeah. I'd probably focus on siding for decks that would actually like give me a hard time winning. <laughs> the only thing I can think of off the top of my head would be like maybe Black Horn of Heaven. Someone said wiretap. Um, yeah. I guess that's not the worst. Good against like Alpha, but yeah. I don't know, because do we know, like, who won the roll and who chose first? Because, oh, yeah, he's blinding first. That's why, like, wiretap would make more sense uh, if, for some reason, Sean had the impression that Matt was going to blind go second. Yep. Because then he'll have it for, like, the alpha just on that turn, not, like, have to risk waiting another turn, the whole a whole other turn that the alpha could be activated, which is, like, the best thing to activate uh, wiretap on, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, see. <laughs> Yep, looks double. like he did have black horn. Yeah, so if he had wired up there, it would not have been ideal. Didn't have in the end phase. Yep. Puff call, grabbing uh, knuckle high. Push through for I don't 15. I think I've ever actually said, heard somebody say his like his real name. Knuckle high. Yeah. You knuckle high. <laughs> I've heard some like great <laughs> pronunciations like. My favorite's ukulele. Yeah, I just call me ukulele. Yeah. Like, I don't... I it's don't actually, like, not that complex. It's, like, it's four syllables, but... <laughs> I don't know. People see past three, and they're just like, I'll take this consonant, this consonant, and let's call it <laughs> <laughs> Honest. Oh, this guy plays oh. honest. Wrong deck. <laughs> All right, no, you gotta well, get out Slip yeah. Rider. Yeah, this, this doesn't look like it's gonna go up. Uh, no. will just attack the Zineb. Hey, I mean, he has Eltair. Nice. He can go for like a trooper play or something. Nice minus one. <coughs> yeah. Definitely not the ideal matchup to have that. I would have sided it out if he like could. I don't know if he had, you know, if it was in the cards for him. But even then, if it wasn't, I would have. Crossbows is a pretty popular deck. I would like. Think of that beforehand. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Keep like bumping into the. I can't hold my head up. I'm way too tired right now. Mike Not get much sleep. Yeah, Mike wanted to talk about Infernoid like all night. <laughs> 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 he's like, I'm trying to fall asleep, and he's like, Matt, should I play Breakthrough Skill or Debunk? And I'm like, I don't care. Oh my god, this is so obviously Trooper. Do you think he should have put the... What did he search with the Denim? If he got, like, an Altair, obviously putting the Vega back is good, but vice versa, he just puts back the Altair. And, like, Altair's a scarce resource anyway, so it might have made more sense to just, like, not search that and then go for bouncing the Altair. But either way, yeah. that's changed, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> 
Might matter for some life points later. Yeah. It's like, you would have 17 and 21 right. instead. He's got Good Witch and two Slip Riders, it looks like. Yeah. I don't know if I would have summoned the uh, Tribute in defense mode, just like, I don't know, in the off chance that he can attack over it and then knock it into factor. Yeah. We'll see. If he, like, stopped it. I don't know how much. Well, he's at 47, I guess I can see the need for playing for damage against Cosmo. I guess it's not that disagreeable. Oh, so Sean's on see. all monsters. Yeah, it's not oh, but he can make uh, yeah, Pleiades. I was, yeah, I was thinking he yeah, can summon, perfect. attack, make Pleiades, uh, bounce so that, and then next turn when he tries to yeah. make the Altair play. It'll be uh, all set. So yeah. it's like attack over Vega with the big spaceship, slip rider, banish yeah. special slip rider, overlay, Pleiades, etc. <laughs> Oh my god, and he could bounce his own Fiendish with uh, Pleiades, set it, and then next turn bounce the Tribber, and then have the Fiendish oh for man. like Altair or Vega or whatever. <laughs> That's like some next level. Unless he, like, I, I assume he plays Pleiades. Oh, he put it face down. Wait. Uh, he's afraid of Honest, I guess. Uh, well, then again, like, I would have just attacked it with the Slip Rider, so if he had Honest, I don't know. I mean, then he'd still make it. I yeah. mean, it doesn't. I, I, yeah, yeah, if I he guess did it depends that, it on what right force he's Yeah, it wouldn't too. guarantee the. Oh, I would have done that in the opposite. Anyways, uh, so there's that. Yep. Yeah, I think he should have done the bounce fiendish play. And then bounce the trigger on his turn, then fiendish this. This doesn't look like that idea of a situation. Because he can just, like, slow roll, potentially slow roll out of this, depending on his draws. How many cards does he have in hand, too, so we can't excite him? Um... I think Matt has two, yeah. yeah. So I think Thunder King and uh, Altair. Yeah. So obviously, so just anything to get out. Or he could just like set a card and pass. And, like, <laughs> I mean, at this point, maybe. So I believe he's just going to try and make him waste uh, the material. Yeah, I guess. He doesn't have breakthrough or anything, right? Mm, no. <laughs> and you know what he drew for turn? It was an Oasis, So right? Oh, this is... I yep. only half saw it. I guess not. Yep. Maybe he's just then, this yep. Oh, it's fiendish. <laughs> so this is oh, he's actually in a really good position now. I hope Sean plays M seven. Even though it won't really matter. Yeah, I hope like he is playing M seven. I, like I thought over. I saw it, but apparently not. Yeah, this probably would have ended up way better if he went for the bouncing fiendish play. So it looked like Matt drew uh Imperial Iron Wall too. So if he's able to get something going here, then that might actually mm -hmm. just uh And he bounced the one-on-one, -on -one, so he still has that to probably take the spaceship thing. Better than Castell here, obviously. And it won't die by the Pleiades, so they'll just lose one material. Wait, what? Oh. What is going Trying on? Trying to make his own Pleiades. I don't see where he's going with this. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> you had it for a second. I was thinking tears or something. Like, I don't know. This is bewildering to me. He's going to rank up. Um. <laughs> and it. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, if he did play tears, that would be amazing right now. Just chain it and then have Ironwall the rest of his cards. So then, oh, like. Road is pretty good. Yeah, pretty much game over. Go on to game three. One more. Well, we're seeing some Yu-Gi-Oh this game. Yeah, this one's definitely yeah, what can over. McCabe draw that would be an out here? Um, so back like two Altairs and like an Exceed probably. Yep. Pot of Avarice. Which is not legal. You draw a real trap. It doesn't even matter if you draw it because like that deck can't top deck for anything. Unless he was playing like my friend CJ's build with like Shadal Fusion, just rip it. <laughs> just fuse from deck. I almost played that deck this week, and it was one of the decks I was considering. Yep. So game three. Yep. There's torrential to face down. Yep. Yeah. So he would have survived one more turn, and then, like his only chance was if he like summoned a monster, and then he was able to torrential, and then he drew farm girl or uh, the field spell. 
everything else. Oh, or eat jelly, I guess. So anything else, just you lose. Yeah. Matt ties it up after uh, getting pretty demolished game one. Mm -hmm. Playing a nice control game, game two. They're talking about 101 taking anyway. something. Yeah. Some regional one. I don't know. <laughs> Can't imagine 101 yeah, having that complex rolling. Anyway. Actually, I guess the Book of Moon thing was arguable. It still attaches, right? If you detach dude, then target, and then someone chains Book of Moon I to think it. so? Yeah, it's I still believe attaches. It's, yeah, it still attaches just face down. Yeah. Yup. Feel like there's just like a scarce amount of people in this room. I think they're all playing Force of Will actually. There's uh, 58 Force of Will players. Wow. Yeah. It's I wonder how my friend Nick's doing. Yeah. I think they're. Round three. Round three also. Yeah. That's crazy. They're ahead of us and their rounds are 50 minutes. Yeah. It just shows how slow Yu Gi Oh players are at this game. Well, he also started like 10, 15 ways. minutes yeah. ahead of us, mm -hmm. I think. So, Matt going first again gets reinforcement. If so, McKay no. blind second, which I I guess is agreeable. I don't see why Could not. have to do with what he cited. He has uh, one in four runner. Uh, I don't even know what that Matt's guy is. Black horn. Hand. Yeah. MSD. That's a pretty good draw. And then Iron Wall won't. I, I think he, you, you're supposed to preemptive Iron Wall. If so, he probably didn't draw it. Because like, there's no way. Like, you just wait till the monster summons so they can. Okay, okay, chain. <laughs> well, <coughs> my friend at a regional would. Uh, all day he was effect veiling. Uh, <laughs> no way. Cosmo monsters, <laughs> and they weren't chaining the effect. <laughs> really? Yeah. So like, wow. It's like, yeah, I'm four zero because of it. That's regional sweet. Yeah. I I, I hope I just feel like for the rest of my life, all I play against is Cosmo. It's just like a nice that's, trap that's deck. That's the upcoming T trend. It yep, seems takes like. it easy. Just lets me do whatever I want. Just, I love it. Not to tell back, because that deck actually has a really strong monster. <laughs> and I think he's about to summon it. Could be. Yeah, I think he's it. afraid of the black horn. Um, okay, so Sean gains a thousand Trevor from the front runner. Oh, never mind. Uh, Don't listen to me. He's sneaky. Gonna that's actually really good. He can't banish. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, I guess it was in that case it was correct not to hold really because he has the alpha yeah. and the iron wall combo. Spiffy play. Yep. I was just gonna inch it in there. Thirty one total. Yep. Just gonna put more pressure. Did he attack uh, I guess Mirror yeah, Force is a card, right? Yeah. 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 Mirror Force is a very real yep, card. Might at three. as well try to go for uh, I don't know if I'd go for Trevor. Well we'll see if he stops out top first. So we're gonna finish chain it and 
It's infusion. Yeah, and that probably makes Trevor a no go. Yeah. No. Well, what, uh, D'Agusto? Wait, what is that? Oh, Diamond. Ptolemus again. Ptolemus. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go for Diamond, but. I don't well, know what he was going he for. He might have been trying to bait it. out Blackhorn. Like, he obviously doesn't play Tyrius because he would have put it on the Dark Hole. Is it Pallades, I guess? Pallades would be pretty good to bounce the uh, Altair and then summon it again. Is it still I, the same I think turn? he was just trying to bait out the Blackhorn. Mm. Is it still the same turn? I think it's... Yeah. yeah. I was going to say it's a different turn, but I don't think Sean would have just passed. I'm pretty sure it's the same turn. Yep. Okay. Warning, so... Sean's down to 29. Matt's down to 67. Yep, this is how Stella wins sometimes. This has. Either this or they summon Trooper. Judge has. Uh, yeah, they lose the drops or you lose the. Sean monsters. at 31, no so I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. And then he's out of all terrors, I believe. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> One more hidden in there. Yep. So probably, uh, this is a new turn, so first thing he probably goes for is Trevor. Why not? Oh, he's at 31. What am I talking about? Might as well do this again. Uh, so what's the fiendish? He actually probably doesn't want a Trevor at this point. Just bounce both fiendish. Nah, I think he's going to do it. He didn't take 15 though, right? Of advantage. Might as well. Oh, Delta Rus. Delta Rus, yeah, to kill the other back row. Keep him on low cards. I guess that makes sense because it's like a little amount of gain for him. Oh. Iron Wall. Can you? Oh, yeah, he can. I have a nice one. Because all he would gain is an Oasis. <laughs> and that's versus like two Fiendishes to stop the Oasis. Or not on that turn, but later turns. And this also frees them up to summon Diagusto Emerald and put all the Altairs back. Yeah, that's going to be a really big point because, yep. like you said earlier, he has, he's got none all. left for sure at this Doesn't point. Doesn't he still have his... Yeah, he still had his normal summon. I think he could have gone for Diagusto. Unless I'm just missing something. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so probably summon the Nebs or something. Girl. I think you should have put that in attack. I guess it doesn't matter now. What was the Oasis on? Oh! Oh, that's sad that he can't use the uh, <laughs> Supernatural. Yep, that's game, pretty much. Yeah. Way too many guards. Yep. Yep. Matt beats uh, Sean McCabe, yep. two to one. Mm -hmm. Both players should have been two zero. So now Matt's three zero. Sean's two one. Oh, he sides out artifacts of this matchup. Hmm. He made some. Interesting. Well, thank you all for watching round three. I got a video to play for you guys in a second. We got 16 minutes left in time, so it's going to be a little bit of a hike until the next round. I apologize. I know you have Slip Rider now. All these people playing too fast. I know, we got a fast format. But uh, I'll play you guys a video. Thanks for watching.